What's going on guys, Orzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we got another episode of the squad review series and this episode is starting off with someone that has a 500k budget to work with, moving on to an 800k budget to work with and then heading all the way down to a 22k to work with budget. I'm not sure we're going to improve someone's team with 22k, but we're going to see what we can actually do. If you guys want to go ahead and obviously get involved with the squad review series, by the way, make sure to join the Discord. The link will be in the description. Once you click the link, obviously verify yourself, head over to the squad review channel, and then you're going to see a time period that you can actually submit your team in. So it's going to be an 8 p.m. Saturday to a 2 p.m. Sunday, United Kingdom time. Submit your team during that time, and hopefully you will get included. But first person is going to be Bayern. I'm not sure what that first it means so i'm not obviously not gonna say it he's got 500k to work with he was thinking of upgrading for, oh sorry saving up sorry for baby Vieira or prime Essien to replace makalady next but looking to improve any position really he says keep up the great work also the tips and tricks from foot uh, foot champs highlights videos managed to help me get elite free for the first time last week things you'll love to see all right let's see what we're working with let's see oh wow okay 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 then this is disgusting. Rio Ferdinand, baby version of baby Desai, beautiful defensive line. Alfonso Davis Cancelo, that's insane. Red CR7, Makaleli, Kimmich, Ribery, and Bappe Karincha. My god, what do you play in game? Okay, so he plays a four triple two, a very attacking formation. Things you love to see. Four five star skillers is beautiful. You obviously got Makaleli and Kimmich. Makaleli, Kimmich, two five foot nine players. I've personally used that in my foot champ highlights. In foot champ highlights, sorry, in foot champs team. And they were good together. It was just, you know, you do slack a little bit high in that midfield. So you did say you want to go ahead and get a baby Vieira. Or sorry, save up for a baby Vieira or a prime SEN. I would personally go for Baby Vieira simply because of the height. Him being that very tall kind of midfielder, you're going to see an interception reach, you're going to see a tackle reach, and you're going to see a defensive beast. So yeah, save up for a Baby Vieira. I'm very disappointed that we can't upgrade a team for 500k, but it's understandable. This team is absolutely outrageous. But yeah, save up for Baby Vieira. It's going to make that team better. Moving on to JGMS, he's got 800k to work with on PC. He's looking to, he says, I'm thinking about using Vieira in a centre-back position. Okay. Only Ronaldo, Neymar and Kamara are tradable. Kamara. Interesting. 800k to work with and he's still got Kamara. Okay. Prime Vieira. My God. Prime Vieira, Makaleli, CR7, Neymar, Kulazewski, El Shrari. I can already tell your midfield is going to be dirty. I already can, uh, sorry, I already can tell your, your, what do you call it? Your attack is going to be disgusting as well. 4-2-3-1. Yeah, look at the attack. That's beautiful. The attack is absolutely insane. Midfield is really, really good as well. Defense. Sol Campbell. Hmm. He is a questionable time to time. But I'm not going to sit here and say he's a bad, like he's a bad centre back because he isn't. He's a disgustingly good centre back at putting in those tackles. Diego Dalot, very underrated player that only goes for around 29k. So yeah, keep him in. Boateng, I mean, why not? You know, he's slow, but he's still very good. Kamara is the one player I'm looking at, and I'm thinking to myself, you got 800k to work with. You know, 800k. You're on PC. I'm not sure how much he goes for on PC, but I believe yeah, he goes for 750k on Xbox. Right. I think we look here. That jumped up a decent amount. He probably goes for like a mil. A 1.1 mil. Something around there. Alfonso Davis is probably going to be a person you're going to have to save up for, bro. Like, Alfonso Davis is just going to be absolutely insane for you. Let's do it on this and let's see. Because Neymar's going to be off chemistry, isn't he? Neymar's going to be off chem here. Neymar going to be on 8 chemistry. I think you get this on full chemistry. Apart from El Shirari, I think you can actually get this on full chem. Is it a four? It might be the three. You might, yeah, the three. Because you switch him here. You switch that over here. You move this here. And that's it, right? Yeah, that's it. You get him on full chem. And obviously, El Shirari will be the only player that you actually play off chem. But that is what you need to do with this team. Get Kamara out your team as soon as possible and get yourself a road to the final Alfonso Davis that has the potential to still get upgraded. And we all know how good Bayern are doing in the Champions League. Obviously, they just, you know, matched up against PSG, but it's like, it's Bayern. I'll be very surprised if they don't beat PSG, you know. Either way, boys, this 
right here is going to make your team so much better. An upgrade from Alfonso, sorry, from Kamara to Alfonso Davis. It's huge. If you can't afford him at this moment, just save up a few more coins. Moving on, though, we are going to see power. He says, How hey, Orzio, hope you're well. Keep on grinding and you'll go far in life. Inspirational words that you love to see. He's got 22k to work with. Obviously, he's not going to be the greatest. Looking to improve the attack. He said, preferably meta. He says, tradables are Shaw, Marcelo, and Rashford. And Edison also in-game are stop on Robin for Salah. All right, that's good uh, Good information to actually know. He's got 100k. Oh, okay. So, he's got. he said he's got 100k pack and a 125k pack. I mean, you can go ahead and open it if you want to because the mana of the matches are out right now. But it's like... If you want to save it for a promo, I don't really, you know, sit there and would go against that at all because you can still get a very, very good player out of the promo. For me, I would save it. If you're not thinking of getting any SBC player right now, just save up for the, what's it called? Save up for the promo. He says, Orzio is the GOAT. <laughs> all right, let's see. First, uh, sorry, 20, 22k to work with when it comes down to this team. It's going to be hard to improve it. It's definitely going to be hard to improve it. Let's see what you play in-game. The in-game formation is going to be a 4-3-3. And he did obviously say that he subs off Salah for Robin. What's your bench looking like? It's a nice bench. It's got some very nice super subs in there. you obviously got Tonali, Coccarella, Rain Rainier. you got Fur as well. It's a good bench. It's a very, very good bench. Now, I'm going to tell you straight up. You're not improving this team for 22k. No chance, okay? But one thing I would say is future improvements. Try to get a better version of Marcus Rashford, without a doubt. That's the only player that I honestly can see in this team that is like a very weak spot. Like Gold Rashford, he's still okay, but he's not as good as he was, you know, at the beginning of the year. So yeah, try to replace Rashford for a better version. And if you can't afford a better version, then obviously just get like yourself a Premier League left wing. I'm not sure because I can't see him on a bench if you got Pulisic, because Pulisic would have been a very, very good player for you. Because he was a level 30 player and obviously he was free. So I'm not sure if you, you know, can, like, you know, you had Pulisic or not. But if you don't, then obviously just try to get a better version of Rashford. Either way, very, very good team. Defensive line is a little bit questionable because of the Marcelo. But people say Marcelo ain't actually too bad. So I can't really judge him because I don't think I actually reviewed him. Either way, moving on, we are going to see Unibrow Mario. He's got 500k with Diego Carlos tradable. Uh, Stones, he's looking to improve Stones mainly, but anywhere around the team. I'd like to upgrade. First squad has additional uh, untradeable players on the bench. All right. Let's see what it says. Okay. Baby Eto. Someone got a bit lucky. I see someone got a bit lucky. Stones, Diego, Carlos, Acuna, Tavernier. That's a dirty defensive line. You got Rooney, Eto, Bruno. Good tack. Bench. Ooh. Baby Kaka and obviously Figo. I think that's mid Figo. I think his baby is like an 88 overall and his prime is a 92. Dybala, 91 is very good. Mars is good. Robin is good. Bamba is good. That's a dirty. Like, you got some dirty players in there. So, you play. Oh, we haven't actually seen what you play. What do you play? Oh, the 5 2 1 2. Okay, okay, okay. R that attack, filthy. Don't need to touch that. The midfield, filthy. Don't need to touch that. Mid uh, Defensive line. Oh, defensive line's a little bit questionable. It's a little bit questionable. Tavernier, Kleiber, Stones, Diego Carlos. Yeah, get rid of Stones. 100% get rid of Stones. Saying that you had, what, 500k to work with? You could go ahead and have two options, okay? You could save up a few more coins and get this guy right here because he's 700k. And that would get him on full chemistry because of that Edison link, right? Or you could go ahead and play him off chemistry and go ahead and get Gomez. That's the two options you got. You got. For me personally, it wouldn't be too bad getting Gomez because he would only, he'll be on eight chemistry anyway, right? And obviously you're getting Tavernier because of the English link on full chem. So Gomez is an option and is one that you can actually afford at this moment. And obviously it's going to be better than Stones. But if you want to save up for a few, you know, a few more coins, then go ahead and get this Carl Walker card. He would still be very, very good. Not still be. So he'll be outstandingly good. We all know it. And it would obviously get him on full chemistry. But yeah, that's the two options you got. But it's an outrageous team. Literally an outrageous team. Moving on though. We are going to see GC underscore UK21. He says, Hi, all your hope you're well loving the content. To get your opinion on my squad would be an honor. 150k, he says, can save. Things you love to see. Anything really to improve. Whole squad is untradeable. Okay. Interesting. There's a lot of players that you don't see very often. Lineker being one, Xavi being the other, and Baby Seardoff being the other as well. Blanc and Van der Sar, I mean, you do see him quite a decent amount. A lot of people do have Blanc nowadays. Disgusting bench, by the way. Tavernier, Robin, Son, Dybala, Rooney, Rainier, Cl La Holmike. It's a beautiful bench. It literally, a little uh, beautiful bench. 
I'm going to guess you continue with a 4 2 3 1. Like, I'm looking and I'm thinking to myself, sure. Oh, no, you played a 5 2 on 2. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. That's a dirty defense. You don't. No, don't touch your defense. Just leave it. Do not touch your defensive line. It's absolutely filthy. Your midfield is questionable. I'm going to be honest. Your midfield is very questionable because it's two players. Like five foot seven and five foot nine. They're very, very small. So you ain't got no interception reach there at all. But it's like, I don't know. Both both of them can go forward, can't they? A decent amount. I, like, I see how you got obviously a five-star skiller in the cam position and a five-star skiller in the left striker position. I'm not sure about Lineker. I'm very not sure. How much did you say you got to work with? 150k. You know what? For you, I would honestly say save up and get yourself an Mbappe. Get yourself an Mbappe and it's going to make this team better. I understand Zakaria is going to be off chemistry. And you got Soul Shine there, which you can obviously remove, you know, because of the nationality. And you can you can get a, what do you call it? You can get a Zakaria on 8 chemistry, I believe it is. So yeah, do that. That is the way to go 100%. Just get yourself a Kylian Mbappe. Obviously, you're going to have to save up for him. But I don't believe he's that, like, let's actually check. How much is he going for? He's going for 600k on PlayStation and 400k on Xbox. I'm not sure which... Yeah, I'm not sure which console you're on. But if you're on PlayStation, save up your coins. It's simple as that. Your team is a very, very good team defensively. It's just it needs a bit more help going forward. Moving on, though. We're going to see David. He says he's got 450k to work with. He's looking to improve. Uh, looking for something to grind towards or general improvements. Okay. Hernandez, Cancelo, Zaha are all tradable. Okay, let's look at the team. Oh, he's got the new Bender card. All right. Bender, Klosterman in that, you know, two centre-back positions. Ribery, Firmino, Zaha. He's got a lot of five-star skillers in here. I like the team already. I really do. What do you play in game? Let's see. Four, another four triple two user. The four triple two, by the way, very underrated formation. It's a very, very attacking formation, but it's also very good. So yeah, you have a five-star skiller, uh, four-star skiller, five-star, five-star. Two midfielders that are absolutely disgusting together. So yeah, don't need to touch those for a very long time. To be fair, you don't need to touch them at all. Like, literally at all unless Firmino gets like a tots card which i'm gonna be honest i highly doubt in a way you don't need to touch him you really don't but yeah very good midfield and a disgusting defense as well how would i improve this team you know what you said you're you had a what 450k to work with and you said you want something to grind towards the person i would say to grind towards because you can put any and i mean any premier league striker in here low key you could put saint maximum Get Saint into the team, and that's going to have, you know, obviously, you know, you're going to replace a five-star skiller for a five-star skiller, but you're just going to be better in general. If you don't like Saint at all, and you've tried him already, just go ahead and get a better version of Wilfred. Like, why not, you know? Just go ahead and get a better version of Wilfred. But if you don't like, you know, the option to go ahead and get better, uh, what's called, better option of Wilfred, and you like your, your 86 right now, then you could obviously just go ahead and get Neuer, like team of the year version. To trust me, the difference between the gold card and the team of the year is huge. So if you want to go ahead and get a team of the year, go ahead and do it. I really like won't go like I really won't go against it. He's a, an amazing card. But if you want to get the 86 out of your team and you feel like he's not good enough anymore, go ahead and get the headliner. If you don't like the headliner, go ahead and obviously you know try out foot free Saint Maximum. But yeah, that's what I would personally do with this team. But moving on, we are going to see Anza. He says 200k will save up on PC. Uh, he wants to improve anything. He says, Solskjaer, Kante, think you're doing play the month, Mbappe, thoughts. Mbappe would obviously be a really, really good thing to do. But I can tell you straight off, you don't need to do The reason you don't need to do it is simply because you need to try to focus on some other areas in your team. What do you play? Three at the back. Oh, he subs off. Oh. Okay, so you sub off Van Dijk for Mbappe. I was going to say, by the way, Virgil van Dijk in March, not fast enough. Just straight up, not fast enough. So, subbing off Mbappe, sorry, subbing off Virgil for Mbappe is absolutely huge. So, yeah, that is something I would do straight up. Get that Mbappe card into the team. And the next thing I would do... Hmm. I'm thinking, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. And I'm saying to myself, there is one person that I would definitely, definitely enjoy in this team. And it would actually have to make you save up, I believe. How much did you say you had to work with? 200k. Yeah, I think you would actually have to save up like a few more coins. But it would be the CDM version of Reese James. The CDM version, let's actually put him in this team. 
Because that was the in-game team, wasn't it? Let's take him out. Get Reese James. The CDM version of Reese James. Look at this team now. Reese James CDM version is going to give you that attacking presence, which Solshek, I must admit, he doesn't really do a decent amount of. Like, he does it okay, but Reese James is going to give you that ability to go forward, you know? So, yeah, that's what I would personally do with a team. You obviously got stuff that you need to improve as well, like Gold Rashford, as I said, for the other guy. It's just not good enough anymore in March. So, you could go ahead and improve him for someone. But the one thing that I would do is definitely try to get Solshek out of the team. He's a good player. I must admit, he is a good player, but it's like... If I had the option to go for a Reese James Future Star CDM version or an informed Solshek, I'm taking Reese James. I'm literally taking Reese James all every day of the week, boys. Literally every day of the week. But it's a nice team. I actually like how you got, you know, a casual Azerbu in this team. Like, how do you have a casual Azerbu baby version just chilling in this team? Ridiculous. All right, moving on, though. We are going to see... Oh, okay. I was going to say we are going to see someone that has a... A decent amount of cut, but we don't. We don't. He says, I've got nothing left. All right. So he's clearly looking for future improvements. All right. So he's got Deco and Deck. Sorry, Crespo and Deco that he wants to improve. He started this account a month ago and three weeks. Wait, what? And three weeks ago after my. Oh, okay. So a month to three weeks. And after my previous uh, account got banned off the market. Whoa. He sold Neymar accidentally for 145k. Stuff ain't going well for this guy. Stuff ain't going well for this guy. And then he gets Crespo at the icon player pick. Oh, it ain't been great. It, it, yeah, it is what it is, though. Keep up the good work. Things you love to see. Even though he's been screwed, he has that motivation to keep going. But I tell you what, how long ago? A month. I think I clicked on the wrong team. I have clicked on the wrong team. A month ago. And you got this team right here. And you play a 5 2 1 2 in game. This is a very good team. This is a very, very good team. For only being on the game for a month. Crespo, obviously a bit questionable. But you said you got him out of the icon player pick. So it's something you are going to have to deal with. You know. Deco and Akam is not bad. El Shirari is nice. Look at that midfield. A month ago, by the way. Curtis Jones and Renato Sanchez. That's a disgusting midfield. And you actually got one hell of a defensive line as well. Rooney's obviously a little bit questionable. Okay, Rooney is a little bit questionable. But you have to understand the guy's got no coins. So playing him in that position isn't actually too bad. But Cucurella in the left wing back position, position is very good. Because he actually can go forward. You know what? The one person I would say for a future improvement would obviously be the goalkeeper. Like, your team is very good. Obviously, I would personally try to improve Crespo. But it's like... You might as well keep him in. I'm gonna be well. I'm gonna be honest. You might as well like keep him in. Like, there's not much you're gonna do with no coins, you know. So yeah, try to improve your goalkeeper next. That's the one person I would honestly say to improve. Try to improve the goalkeeper, and you're gonna be okay. But yeah, really impressive. Only a month in, and you've got this team. I see you. I see you. All right, moving on to the next guy. We are gonna see his. His name is Prey. All right. He says, "Hey, all you. I love the videos." He's got 50k to work with, and as I just bought James and Chiellini, he wants to, wait, what, looking to improve Owen and my left back. James, Chiellini, Cancelo are the only tradables. Looking forward to see the video. All right, so this is going to be our last person, hopefully. Ooh, okay. Okay, 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 okay. Keep in mind, he has got only 50k to work with, so it's not going to be a huge amount of coins. Another person that plays the 5 to one two. Literally, the takeover of 5 to one two. What's happening here? Chiellini, Reese James, El Shirai, Abamyang, Owen. Not bad. Not bad. Could obviously be improved there, but not bad. Defensive line. You got this guy right here, which I never actually tried to uh, use, but he looks really good, so I'm not going to tell you to remove him. Maldini, I saw by your... Was it your profile picture? It was. I can see slightly by your profile picture that he's actually untradeable. So that's always good things. You got Maldini, Kleiber's ridiculous, Vidic, Cancelo. All right. Two players to improve from this team. Vidic and Chiellini. Chiellini is a player that is a hell of a player defensively. Trust me. Defensively, the guy is an absolute beast. But if we're talking about going forward, not that great. Not that great at all. And especially in March, in this formation as well, the 5 2 1 2, you need a player that's going to go up and down. Okay? So Chiellini, Chiellini is not going to be that kind of guy. And I understand you just bought him, but it's like, it's going to be a tough one to actually take him out as well because you need him, don't you? You need him for the El Shirari link. So, yeah. Honestly, keep Chiellini. Okay? Keep Chiellini. But the person I would say is Vidic. Vidic needs to go. He really does. 
Vidic is a player that it, I wish, I honestly wish, being a Manchester United fan myself, I wish he was good. I really do. Like, he's such a big thing for Manchester United, right? But it's like, even if you give this guy a shallow chem star, boys, it's not good enough. It really isn't. But yeah, he can put in a tackle. Yes, he's got that, you know, aggression, strength and all of that. But it's the speed that's going to let this guy down. Especially if you're playing him in that right centre-back position. Now, the only issue is the fact that I don't actually know who you could put there. Because you've only got 50k to work with, okay? You know what? I'll give you a future improvement, okay? This is the one player that you need to try to get out of your team. And the one player I would say... Save up for him, all right? Save up for him. You're going to play, obviously, your boy Clive off chemistry. You know, you, to be fair, you don't even need Walker. Get Walker out of the team. Get this guy. Get yourself a cheeky, this guy. 400k to work with, but it's still someone that you're going to need to save up for, you know? But yeah, you're going to play Clive on eight chemistry with a manager, and that's going to be perfectly fine. But I hate, you know, I hate to do it, but Vidic needs to get out. He really does. He's not fast enough. It's simple as that. He just isn't. But boys, that is going to be it for the episode. I hope you guys did enjoy the squad review episode. If you did, make sure to leave a like. Make sure to leave a comment. But for now, peace.